The Honourable Member, uh, Leader of the Alberta Party. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. It is um, a sad day, but a tremendous honour uh, to stand here today and speak about a great man. The last time I had a, a long discussion with Manmeet was after he gave his moving speech in celebration of Diwali. The Legislature Rotunda was absolutely captivated and there was silence as he talked about the persecution of Sikhs. And despite the anger that this persecution rightly generates, he spoke of the fact that it is only light that can fight darkness. Now he was a big man, as we've heard today, and his stature got lots of attention, but much more than that, I remember his words. His words were tremendously powerful, passionate, intelligent, meaningful. Now, a lot's been said about the work he did in this House, in the very public way he supported his community and stood up for vulnerable Albertans. But what many don't know, of course, that we've talked about today now is the work that he did quietly all around the world, helping those people uh, badly in need, not for glory or for personal reward, but because it was necessary. And he knew that he could help. Men meet work tirelessly behind the scenes, trying to help the Sikh and Hindu families living in Afghanistan who fa face constant discrimination and the inability to fully practice their faith in the face of threats of violence. He spent his own money traveling the world in order to help those who needed his aid, using his significant personal charisma and experience to insert himself into conversations with officials in Brussels, India, and other parts of Asia in order to advocate for his community. And I think it's important to note he inserted himself into those conversations whether they liked it or not. <laughs> He stepped in to help because he could, because he knew it was needed, and there really is no more fitting tribute to Manmeet Bular than to recognize his work helping others. He is exactly the sort of person we need in public office. And the, world, the world needs more Manmeet Bular, not less. His loss is absolutely devastating, and I can't imagine what his family is going through, nor his community, nor his colleagues in the PC caucus and your staff. My team has connections to yours, as I'm sure you know, and on their behalf, I offer our deepest condolences, sincerest condolences, and offer any support you need at any time. This absolute tragedy has brought members of this House together, though, in a way I think we wouldn't have otherwise. On Monday night, we cried together, some prayed together, and we built bonds that cannot be broken. Menmeet said that politics is still comprised of human beings. We all seem to forget this. Manmeet's legacy means that that is no longer true. Rest in peace, my friend. 